Now this video is about installing Xbox games using the Xbox app. Uh, you can get it by going to the uh, Game Pass uh, site and go up here in the top right hand corner and you'll see it says download the app. You simply do that and install it. And it'll only take a few seconds to install. Now years ago each game had its installer and it would choose uh, automatically to just throw it on your C drive. You'd have to do custom. We well, have the same thing here in the Xbox app. Or Xbox game you can click on the install and it'll go right there on the C drive however uh, let's take a look at uh, the drives that are available I have quite a few for different functions and it looks like I want to put it on the uh, H drive where I'm keep all my games now this drive ensures that my operating system is not being uh, impacted by loading on the C drive but instead having all the game content on a separate drive and therefore usually only one game is operating at a time, uh, and that drive can be devoted strictly to performance for that game. So once you're sure of the drive you want to uh, install it to, you can go back to the installation, and uh, you'll see here uh, on the installation, up here you'll see a box that says, oh, it's going to go on C. So we go over here to change, we're going to choose a different drive. Now remember, uh, we just went here and determined uh, where the best uh, space is at. And again, it's going to be on my uh, H drive. And just for a little bit deeper drive, I want to take a look at what's on here just to make sure. I have other things here. I have my Atari Aficionado, so I have stuff there for that. Different things that uh, may be uh, used for, but they're not going to operate at the same time. So there it is, H Xbox Games. Uh, that's what we're going to use. Once I click on installation, you would think here that it would allocate that uh, amount of space. Now that's because it's not really installing yet. So you can refresh this all you want. You won't see any change here. If you go back to the app, you'll see that it's downloading and uh, not installing. But then again, uh, you'll never see a change from downloading to installing in this app. You'll just see it uh, doing its thing. Uh, so anyways, we're going to go to the storage app on the Windows settings. And we can take a look at different things. And I'm going to go down here to uh, view storage and other drives. And I'm going to go down here to my H drive. And I'm going to take a look at it. It still has 145 gigabytes free. Uh, and so it's going to analyze it. And if we go into a different category, for example, here, apps and features, and we can see exactly what's uh, being used. And as it populates down below, you'll see that I have some of the games here. And there's my Halo and Just Cause and all that, uh, occupying some space on the drive. So if we get out of that for a minute, then we go back to the, uh, the installation <clears throat> and... Uh, take a look and it's still going it's early in the stages but it's still uh, showing it's a little slow uh, but that's okay i got plenty of time anyways we get back here and we take a look uh later on and it's uh, got quite a bit uh installed what's important to note is if i come down here to my file explorer which i never closed and i refresh it it now has allocated the entire 46 mega gigabytes uh, for the game so if I return to the File Explorer and uh, take a look and dive into that a little bit, again, it's downloading, and it shows here uh, the 97 gig. If I go over here to the Xbox game directory, and sure enough, boom, there it is. Uh, there's the installation going on in that folder. Now remember, this isn't the normal Windows installation where it goes underneath program files and things like that. It goes to Xbox games. In this particular case, this is on my C drive. Uh, and but if I go to other drives uh, it is as well, so let's go over here and There it is here not in the program files that are installed there um, Because I do have regular apps that are installed on multiple uh, drives, but here we are in Xbox uh, Windows apps I can take a look at but I can look at the Xbox games uh, That are available down here and again. That's where we find uh, uh, This particular game being installed so I can return to the uh, settings app and go look at apps. And there it is allocated already, uh, 49 gig. If I click on it, uh, you'll see there's a, I can move it. But you can't move it while it's still installing. So it shouldn't really work. Uh, but you should wait until it's done. And here's the details on it, uh, terminate the usual stuff. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at the uh, uh, drive again. And there's the H drive. And there it is being installed still. So we return a little bit later, and sure enough, it's almost done. 
Again, it had already been allocated, so there's no more additional space being done. If we look at the drive, uh, it still has the 97 gig left because it allocated uh, the 47 gig all at one shot. Refreshing is not going to change anything. So here we are, just about done. It's finishing up real quick here. Um, and uh, we should see it finish here shortly. There we are. Okay, so we're all installed. So let's take a look. So if we go back to the file explorer and we take a look, and sure enough, uh, we go to the uh, H drive where I uh, said it was going to be installed. And even if we refresh it, again, no change because it was allocated in the beginning. Uh, we go here. There's the Xbox games, there's Plague Tale, and here's all the uh, files you need for playing the game. One last look at the uh, C drive now. Uh, you'll see that it uh, hasn't been impacted by this install. Uh, and you can uh, not worry about uh, your system slowing down while you're playing your game. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video. If you want more, don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description of this video.